What up, what up, what up? What's going on guys? Welcome back to the channel. For those of you who are new here, my name is Tyson. I'm a fourth year PhD student in chemistry at Yale University. And I make like weird science videos that are hip hop inspired. And I don't know, I'm still working on that part. So today I wanna to try out something a little different to make sure that the content on the channel doesn't get too monotonous. Tailless have always been a thing in video games, anime, etc. But over the past few months, it's really exploded and people have started making tailless for basically anything you can think of. So my plan is to hop on and, and try one of my own, tackling something I haven't seen anyone do yet, which is a science class. I'm not sure how this is gonna go. I'm not sure if this is even something that people are interested in, but hey, it's something I wanna do and it seems like it will be a good time, so let's try it out. All right, and so before we begin, a little bit on me to kind of elucidate my strategy and talk a little bit about how we're gonna tackle this. So as you guys know, I'm a chemist, right? So my master's was and my PhD will be in organic chemistry, but my undergraduate work, my bachelor's is actually in biochemistry and I had a minor in math. So naturally I prioritize the things that I know and so you'll see a lot of the classes that correspond to those courses of study here. The second note is that I'm kind of going to fly through this in order to make sure that the video doesn't go too long this time. And so I'll only say maybe one or two things about each class and then I'll rank them. All right, so starting off, algebra and trigonometry, uh, super basic math class, but the unit circle is lit. Low key, if you can't really tell me that like sine of power over six equals one half or something like that, I probably respect you less. And so A tier for sure, just for the unit circle. A and P, not real science, F tier. Biochemistry one, metabolism is lit. One of my favorite topics. I love glycolysis. I love TCA cycle, you know, oxidative phosphorylation, all these types of things. A tier for sure. Maybe even S tier. S tier for biochemistry, fantastic class. You should take it. Biochemistry two is pretty lit. So we're dealing more with like the thermodynamics of protein folding, that kind of thing. And a lot of the things that I talked to you guys about enthalpy and entropy in the last two videos, I associate with what I learned in biochemistry two. And so I definitely like this class. This is an A tier class for sure. Calc one, I think is extremely lit. I think that everyone should take Calc one. Um, I kind of believe that everyone should know at least up until differential calculus, like everyone on the planet that is, but obviously there are more important issues than people learning calculus. But that's just kind of my philosophy on that. I think it's super important content, great class. Calc two is good, right? So we're dealing more with more integral calculus now, um, but it's not as great as Calc one, I would put it maybe in C tier, maybe it's just a, a pretty good class. Calc three, in my opinion, is better than Calc two, but not as good as Calc one. Uh, B tier. Cell bio is pretty good. So cell bio is where I was introduced probably to the central dogma of molecular biology, which is super cool to me, super important stuff. I would say B tier. Only now that I'm kind of more of a chemical biologist do I care more about the organelle biology and things like that. Um, but previously I did not. And so B tier for me. Computer science stuff. I haven't ever taken a formal computer science class. And so I just ranked them all together. Um, pretty important given, you know, automation, Andrew Yang, all this type of thing. Um, but I feel like you can learn how to code online for free or very cheap. And so that brings it down a little bit. Uh, B tier, for sure, B tier. Differential equations. Decent class, it's good for PCAM. C tier, ecology. Ecology is actually pretty dope, if you ask me. I enjoyed this class. I like understanding how organisms interact with each other and with their environment. And so, let's go with uh, B tier, B tier for sure. Gen bio, gen bio is cool. You'll basically learn evolution, probably for the first time if you haven't already in gen bio. C tier, nah, B tier, B for biology, right? Gen Chem 1, funny enough, I don't actually care that much for Gen Chem 1. I don't think it's as interesting as later chemistry classes. I'm gonna go ahead and put it in C tier. All right, Gen Chem 2, like Gen Chem 1, is not that interesting to me. And if you ask me, it is completely condemned by the terrible experiments that they make you do in Gen Chem Lab. Why would anyone ever do a titration? It sucks. Uh, D tier, dude, I'm sorry. As a note, if you were taking either Gen Chem 1 or Gen Chem 2 right now and you're thinking about being a chemistry major, stick with it. Again, I know that titrations suck, but it gets better, trust me. All right, General Physics 1, I associate most closely with classical mechanics. I think everyone should understand classical mechanics, super important stuff, A tier. Gen Physics 2, as a chemistry person, I associate most closely with um, electrostatics, Coulomb's Law, 
uh, you know, magnetism, these types of things. I think this is also important, but maybe not as important to everyone as is classical mechanics. And so I'll put it in B tier. Genetics, all right, Mendelian genetics, population genetics, molecular genetics, everyone likes this stuff. This is definitely an A tier class, this is solid. Geology, yo, geology held it down for a lot of the homies, um, rocks for jocks, and so I'll put it in A for athletes to take this class. Inorganic chemistry, bro. I mess with transition metals, but I'm telling you, bro, solid state chemistry is trash, like octahedral holes, halite structure, bro, nah. This is D tier, bro. Linear algebra, I most closely associate with matrices and the matrix is a good movie, C tier. Organic chemistry one is good. Obviously I feel that way, but it's not as good as organic chemistry two because I hate the things you do in the beginning. Um, naming and stereochemistry, these types of things are super boring to teach. There are no electrons that move around yet. And so I'll go B tier for organic chemistry one. Organic chemistry two, listen to me. This is the best class that you can take as an undergraduate. Take organic chemistry too. If you don't understand it, just pay attention to the electrons. The electrons will tell you everything you need to know. Maybe I'll make a video about that in the future. Quantum chemistry, I don't actually hate as much as everyone else. I think it's a pretty good class. I do a lot of spectroscopy in my research and so it's important for me to understand quantized states and things like this. Um, C tier. All right, guys, so this is it. This is the official Fresh Professor Science Classes tier list. If you enjoyed this video, definitely make sure that you like and subscribe. Um, if you hated this video and you think that I ranked everything incorrectly, definitely make sure to let me know in the comments below. I would love to hear what your tier list would be for these science classes. Um, if you're a science major, if you're a scientist, I would love to hear your experiences about these classes as well. Did you enjoy organic or did you love cell bio? Was that your favorite class? Do you think A and P is real science? If that's the case, definitely make sure and let me know below per usual guys you know thanks for watching the video make sure you like make sure you subscribe follow me on social media all the rest see you guys